Today's question comes from Mario in San Antonio, Texas. Mario asks, I just bought a truck from my construction business. How do I add this to my books in QuickBooks? Well, thanks so much for the question, Mario. You know, setting up an asset in QuickBooks Online can be a little bit tricky. So in today's video, we're gonna jump into QBO and show you the proper way to set up your assets. So if you're new to QBO, consider picking up a copy of my latest book, The Small Business Guide to QuickBooks Online, which can be found on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. All right, let's jump into it. So for this example, we're gonna say he purchased the automobile for $55,000. He did a, made a down payment, a cash down payment of $20,000, then he financed the remaining $35,000 of the acquisition price. Today we're going to be using QuickBooks Online test drive company Craig's Design and Landscape Service. If you do a quick Google search for QuickBooks test drive, you can find this example company and make any adjustments and you don't have to worry about making mistakes in your own working file. So let's go ahead and take a look at adding an asset. So for adding an asset, it's a two-step process. So first, we're going to need to set up the assets in our chart of accounts, and then we'll make a journal entry to book the actual acquisition or purchase of that asset. So first, let's set it up in the chart of accounts. Okay, so the first step in this process is we're going to want to make, um, we're gonna to wanna to add the accounts to the chart of accounts. So first, let's head over to the chart of accounts. So if you go over to the spin wheel, and then under your company, select chart of accounts. We want to see our chart of accounts. And then we're going to come over here to new. And right here is where you can select the type of account that you want to add. We're wanting to add an asset. And then this is going to be a fixed asset. And it's going to be this is all a different type of fixed assets. We're adding an automobile or vehicle. And here we want to name, um, so we'll say Ford F-150. I, I drive a Chevy, but Ford is the number one selling truck. And I'm, I'm in Texas as well, so you see them everywhere. Um, so there we go, account name, Ford F-150. And then the description is where you want to put in the VIN number or some other kind of um, description. I really like the VIN number because you can easily track each automobile. I do a couple trucking companies that have hundreds of trucks and trailers and we use the VIN numbers to to track um, track the trucks and that works out that works out really well. So that's it. You put in the um, all the information, select save. We want to add one more account. We want to add the liability. So since you financed this um, truck we're going to add the liability to the books it's a long-term liability because it's longer than one year uh, current is means it's less than one year long term is over one year um, it's going to be an other long-term liability the account name we'll say this is a Bank of America note um, and then we'll put on here Ford F-150 description you probably want to put the loan number um, and that's it so we're gonna click save and now we have those two accounts set up in our chart of accounts again those are both asset accounts so you're gonna have um, the fixed asset and then the liability for uh, the note the long-term liability so the next part is we need to make a journal entry to record this. So you go over here to new and then under other, we're going to select journal entry. And then you want to put in the date uh, that's on the sales receipt and then the journal entry number. A lot of times if uh, your CPA is booking this, they'll put CPA journal entry number or if you have multiple people working in the books you'll put their initials before the journal entry number uh, it's just good good practice you know who made the journal entry um, so let's see so let's go ahead and book this uh, let's book this guys so we got a we got a Ford f-150 it's a fixed asset the asset price was $55,000 and the description we could put in uh, 
purchase of Ford F one fifty VIN number or whatever other description you want to put in there. Um, next we're gonna so we put a cash down payment. So let's look at the cash accounts bank. We'll do this out of the checking. Uh, he did a cash down payment of twenty thousand for this example. And then the remainder was the Bank of America long-term liability. And there you go. So that's the journal entry. So now we have the asset of $55,000. Now, you're, you, whenever you make a journal entry, your total debits and total credits need to equal. Otherwise, it won't allow you to save it. So we have the total debits of, of $55,000, total credits of $55,000 for everything ties. Um, and there you go. So now let's go let's save and close this and head over to the balance sheet. And take a look, make sure everything was recorded properly. Let's go to reports, balance sheet. And there we go. So there's our asset of $55,000 and our liability of $35,000. So now a couple things. Um, to be aware of so whenever you make a payment on this loan say the payments five hundred dollars a hundred of its interest expense four hundred of the payment is going to pay down the principal so you can't just put the full amount against the liability you have to break out the principal and the interest so whenever you see that payment come through pull the loan statement or pull the if you're gonna record a loan amortization table you know pull that table out make sure you're recording the interest portion of each payment so then the liability amount um, is properly tied out so that's on the liability and then on the asset you know nothing's really hit the P&L yet so um, you haven't expensed anything so the way you expense fixed assets is through depreciation so if you're gonna section 179 or bonus depreciation this asset or if you're gonna take just standard marks depreciation the whatever the current year depreciation expenses um, the other side of that expense, so the expense hits the, the P&L and runs through against your net income. And then the other portion, the offsetting side of that is accumulated depreciation, which is a contra account to your fixed assets, meaning it's a negative account, which decreases your total fixed assets. So say you wrote it all off this year, you'll have, you'll book um, depreciation expense of 55000 and then accumulated depreciation of 55,000 as well, which will take this assets value down to zero, which would be um, mean it's fully it's fully depreciated for the year. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope um, hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or need any follow ups. I'll be happy to happy to answer any questions. And uh, if you have a, an additional tax or accounting question, head over to our website askacpa.co. And leave us a question and there's a lot more uh, written material there as well where we answer questions on uh, on a daily basis so thanks a lot for watching guys make sure you subscribe and like to this video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one thanks a lot take care